G'day guys, welcome to my third marathon training video. This is my uh, first one in February, it's the end of February, I haven't done one since January, but a bit of an update of how I've been going. Uh, start of the month I uh, had a step back week, I'd done a bit too much in uh, towards the end of January and really needed to freshen up, so uh, the first week was about 130Ks. Uh, the next three weeks I've been doing a bit over 190Ks per week, uh, so 120 mile weeks, and um, been getting through that uh, quite well starting to build some fitness I've done some uh, races I did a uh, half marathon and then a couple weeks later I did a 15k half marathon was a bit slower than uh, what I was hoping but the 15k was uh, a bit faster than I was hoping so starting to get some good fitness now now the marathon I'm racing in is at the start of April so I've got just over a month to go for the weeks uh, leading into the race I'll be re reducing my volume so that uh, I freshen up uh, but I've but before then, I've got a few weeks of high volume, hard training. I've got some good fitness, so really uh, doing some tough sessions. And this is one of those weeks. I've just started off the week with a one hour um, effort, a marathon pace. And I've ran from um, here, Sea Cliff, down to Henley Jetty and back. Just completed the session uh, with the one hour um, effort in the middle there, aiming for under three minutes 34 per kilometre, just under. Um, I managed to do that. I thought it would be the hardest session of the week, but it was, wasn't too bad. Um, I find that uh, interval sessions are, are usually a bit tougher than this, so it felt, felt fairly comfortable to be holding that uh, marathon pace of between three, th 3 minutes 30 and 3 minutes 34 per kilometre for the hour, so just over 17 k's in the hour, just under 27 k for the session. And now it's time to head home for breakfast, and I'll check in a bit later with some of my other training for the week. Okay, so just in case you were wondering, this morning's run was actually on the uh, path next to the beach. Only a little bit of the run was on the sand, so this morning's run was on that nice hard flat surface and it was, it was nice conditions for it, nice and cool, with uh, yeah, not, not much wind. So, this afternoon I'm doing the uh, second run for the day, it's an easy uh, one hour run and a long run tomorrow. Okay, so uh, Tuesday morning, I've just done the uh, long run, hot today, uh, it's going to be 37 later in today, but um, so I got the run done early, the first hour was in the dark, uh, down south today, down to Honeypot Road and corner of South Road and back, um, two and a half hours, uh, just over 35 k, so about three hour marathon pace, pretty tired towards the end having done a high mileage day yesterday. But uh, another long run done, a long aerobic run. Okay, so Tuesday afternoon, I've headed down to the beach because it's really hot today. Uh, doing an easy second run for the day, just an easy half an hour. I'll be um, having a swim after, and uh, it makes for a couple big days in terms of volume. Um, the, 80 k's in two days, or a bit over 80 k's in two days by the time I finish the run. Um, and uh, I keep all my uh, my runs on Strava online, so I upload all my my runs to, to Strava online. And they've got a, uh, a a monthly competition where you compete to see how many k's you can run in the month. Um, so that keeps track of that for me and um, this month it's just over uh, 750 k's that I would have run or by the end of this run about 755 which puts me in the top 20 or 25 people on Strava doing that that uh, competition so there's always always um, people to compare yourself to on Strava you can see uh, who's been running on the same uh, routes as you have um, and keep track of your own um, training so you can work out where you may need to work on in terms of getting the right intensity mix right, you're getting the right volumes are you consistent and consistency is is probably the most important thing with your training um, it's not all about doing the big sessions or the tough sessions. Yes, you do have to do that once your body's ready for it. But the most important thing for 
improvement is to just get out there and do something regularly. So, finishing off February now, and uh, I'll have an easier day tomorrow. Okay, so it's Wednesday morning, easy day today. I've just done a uh, squad swim for the Meteors Triathlon Club, and now doing an easy run, one hour from the Marion Outdoor Pool down to Glenelg and back. And that'll be the only training for today. It's a hot day and good day to be inside for the rest of the day. Get the training over and done with nice and early. Morning, it's uh, Thursday morning and uh, today doing hills, a uh, 600 meter hill. Uh, it starts off uh, fairly uh, constant for the first half, then a tiny bit of uh, downhill. And then as you can see behind me, it finishes uh, quite steep for the last 150 meters. You can't really see it in the in the camera there, but it is pretty pretty steep, pretty scary. Um, sort of over over 10% for the last 150. Um, I managed uh, about two and a half minutes for each one up, and the same recovery. So I was doing them on about the five minute cycle, eight uh, hills, and um, I don't uh, I don't actually do any. Uh, weightlifting um, myself but uh, when you're doing a hill like that with a very steep um, uh, part at the end it's uh, it's really is some uh, some strength work there so uh, yeah as you can see behind me it's, it was a little bit downhill and then you and then you're heading uphill again for the for the last bit there which is you know very steep okay so that so that's the uh, that 8 by 600 done I'll head home now uh, about 9 or 10k cool down and that'll be about 25k session okay so Thursday afternoon to my second run for the day uh, an easy 10k my legs really feeling those hills from this morning you know, sometimes you feel sore on the second run of the day today I'm not sore but the legs do feel like like jelly and really just the uh, basically recovering and that's what I'll be doing over the next day or so is just some easy running um, to recover from which in, what ended up being a, quite a tough session this morning okay so it's Friday morning and you would have noticed before in my other videos that usually I do a, uh, a medium pace long run and uh, I've been doing a medium pace long run alternate weeks so on other weeks I've been doing just an aerobic run and uh, that allows me to do a race on the weekend or a longer workout um, without being too tired so I've got a long workout plan for tomorrow so today's an easy aerobic a 24k run uh, that'll, that'll mean that I'm able to complete that uh, workout tomorrow and I've also got some uh, news regarding uh, my racing schedule um, I've got three marathons planned for this year uh, the first one coming up next month which is the uh, Canberra Marathon but I've also got the uh, City for Surf in Perth planned in August and the Penang Bridge International Marathon in November. So on the uh, Facebook feed I noticed that the Penang Bridge has already got 13,500 entries so they're going to increase the, uh, the entry price. So I decided, well, better save a bit of money in it um, right away. So, so I entered it for that last night and had a look at what flights and hotel um, places I could go to. But just, just paid for the entry today and I'll fix up the rest, a bit closer to the event. Um, the Penang race I've done before in 2013 
and I've run Canberra before in 2014 but uh, Perth is uh, a new event for me so that'll be uh, something different and uh, obviously with Canberra and Penang did them a number of years ago so hopefully with some a few more years training under my belt I should perform a bit better however I still did race quite well in the um, in Canberra and hang on I did 238 in Canberra in 2014 eighth place and Penang I finished 10th had a really bad day because it was hot and humid um, but and I ran I think it was still it was just over three hours actually but obviously everyone else suffered as well so three hours at Penang is a very good time okay so second run done for the day originally planned an easy 40 minutes but uh, met up with an old mate of mine uh, who I used to do triathlon with probably 15 years ago and I wouldn't have seen him for over 10 years but he uh, picked up my running style from behind he was on his bike and um, he knew who I was so I guess I do have a fairly distinctive uh, running style so hi Simon if you're watching um, and uh, yeah it was good to catch up uh, ran a little bit extra we uh, uh, yeah, a little bit extra along the Torrens because uh, I'm running in the city this afternoon and uh, so that was an easy 10k instead of instead of an easy 40 minutes so just a little bit extra um, uh, Simon mentioned that I'm a bit uh, leaner than what I used to be and I tend to agree I'm, I'm a bit uh, lighter than, than when I was doing triathlon. I was probably about 69, 70 kilos when I was uh, racing in triathlon and um, now uh, doing uh, doing just marathon running I'm at about 66 uh, kilos uh, most of the time with, uh, uh, with, my current, with my race weight I guess. Now um, I guess a couple of reasons why I would be uh, a little bit lighter than what it was is uh, I'm doing less uh, upper body work no not much swimming and no uh, weights um, but also I've been following a vegan diet for three years and that's kept uh, kept the weight uh, way way down and uh, I've always been uh, a very very lean since I since I've been following the high carb uh, low fat uh, vegan diet um, I still need to have a fair bit of calories with the amount of training that I'm doing so um, I, I have a uh, you know, some nuts and some uh, fair bit of dried fruit uh, to get the high calories in because um, you know the amount of amount of running that I'm doing it I do need to get a lot of calories but uh, in general with with the cooking I avoid cooking with oil I avoid uh, meat and dairy and other you know highly inflammatory foods like that um, and I think it's working quite well for me allowing me to train very hard for the marathon uh, as I do Saturday morning and done the uh, long workout. It was uh, four by 15 minutes uh, with a one minute rest. Did that locally around here. Make it a bit different to the just straight one hour that I did on Monday, but still a very similar uh, marathon session where you're running for quite hard for an hour. So uh, the first two 15 minutes finished with quite a big uphill, um, came back the other way. So the next two started with quite a uh, long, uh, steep downhill. So, uh, um, got through that okay. It, I worked a bit harder than um, uh, Monday because I was basically just going by feel and trying to trying to just work hard uh, rather than going as easy as I could to just hold the pace. Uh, so it's going a bit under the pace, probably a bit under well, marathon pace. But I uh, got through the uh, the 25k session uh, in just over an hour and a half. So uh, that's yeah, that's quite good uh, considering that yesterday was aerobic, 24k in the morning, 10k in the afternoon, and still being able to push out a good um, one hour uh, hard effort uh, today. So four by 15 minutes with a one minute rest. Okay, so just finishing off the week, I've done an 11k run this morning. Yesterday afternoon was an easy 10k, and now doing five minutes worth of stretching. I always look at the clock after I finish the run, five minutes before I go inside. Do whatever needs to be done, whatever feels tight, uh, whatever was feeling a bit funny during the run sometimes. Uh, so usually a fair bit of time spent on calves. Um, that's part of my standard injury management and I've been doing that ever since I started training for marathons. I've really needed to do a fair bit, fair bit of stretching as I guess you'll find if, if you're doing a fair bit of running. Um, so thanks for watching, uh, 212 Ks this week.
for 15 hours 28 minutes is the total running time so a really big week and it uh, looks like things are going fairly well for the marathon uh, so I've managed to hopefully compress all of this 15 hours worth of running into less than 15 minutes worth of video so thanks for watching anyway